Good evening. Today's topic. I was reading um, Facebook tonight and I saw EverQuest posted um, one of their throwback Thursday things and it was a character creation and they were like, how many characters did you have? Well, and just looking at the character screen, I was like, oh my gosh. I remember playing my first character. My husband bought the game, but at the time, he wasn't my husband. He was just, you know, uh, just the person I was dating at the time. That was back in summer of 99 when EQ came out, actually. And he's like, I'm playing this game. You want to try to play it? Because, you know, back then I played games, but I was playing console games. Uh, I think I was more into, like, N64. I wasn't sh I don't think the GameCube was out yet. So I think it was still N64. Anyway, um, he goes, you want to play this? He's like, you want to try it for a little bit? So I made, I said, okay, sure. So I sat down and I'm like, you know, this is the first time I ever actually got to experience anything like, you know, you picture, you know, what you wanted to play and you could be male or female and then you could pick your hairstyle or you know, your face look because I think it was mostly, you had like maybe five, six, maybe seven options. I honestly don't remember how many options now. It's been so many years but um and i just thought i remember going that is so cool um being able to pick you know what your character was going to look like so i picked my very first character was a um i believe shaman that's right it was a barbarian shaman and i had no idea that <laughs> Becoming a barbarian would make me not be able to see very well at night. I, it didn't dawn on me that that's what that type, you know, this game was going to be that style. I mean, I didn't realize it was going to be very D&D &D in that respect, you know. I, I, I didn't know what to expect. He said it was, you know, a game that you play with lots of other people. And I had no idea. I just, so... Anyway, I made my character, and um, I named her after my Native American name, Crazy Wolf. And anyway, so, and I, uh, what server? I, Rod Set Knife, maybe? No, nah, I, you know, honestly, I don't remember what server anymore. I don't even, um, anyway, um, so, I made my character, and I'm like, Exploring the town, just going do 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 do, looking around. Because back then, if you talk to an NPC and they give you a quest, you had to write it down because there's no quest logs back then. Uh, so you, so I had to write it down on a piece of paper. Um, I think it's hail, hail, and th that's how you start the dialogue with anyone. Uh, very. Uh, <laughs> I thought that. I thought that. We thought that was kind of a cool, you know, role play type deal. Yeah, I always thought that was neat. And anyway, um, so I'm like walking around just talking to people. So I'm like, okay. And then I saw this well. There's a well in the middle of town or off to the side of the town or somewhere in town in Hallas. Hallas, or I think I've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time. Oh, see, that, that there's another thing. With EQ, I was pronouncing my hometown, my, well, I, I, anyway. I was pronouncing so many other, I mean, like, I always pronounced it Halas, and it's like Halas or something, I think they pronounce it, and like, um, I always used to spell the, the say the girl, the, the girl that had the enchanter staff at the beginning, you know, on the, on the artwork, uh, I used to call her Therona Vi, but actually it's Firiona, I mean, oh my god, there's just so many things that I just did not, you know, get correct, um, pronunciations for, but that's just, that's just me, I guess, I'm, I am terrible with things like that, like when I'm reading any kind of fantasy or, you know, sci-fi book or anything, I always have trouble with it, and it's like, whatever, but anyway, I'm off topic, so... Anyway, so I make this character, and then I'm like looking around, and I see this well, and I, I'm like, I asked my husband at the, t you know, my boyfriend at the time, I'm like, can I jump in? And he's like, um, if you want. So I jumped in, and 
I didn't realize that you had like a stamina bar for swimming and I ran out of because I couldn't figure out how to jump back out of the, the well and I subsequently died and I drowned so then I spawned and I got my body and I think I actually had to have him get my body then I was like okay I'm gonna go kill something out and you know so I walked out of the gates and they had all these little, they had this like row up there, you know, up the side that had mobs that you could just pull. So I'm like, okay, I'm a warrior. I'll go. And I charged in there. And there was three little um, polar bear, I think they were polar bear cubs or something. But anyway, I got my ass handed to me. Not once, not twice, but I think three times. And, of course, when you die, you lose the XP, but I didn't really have any anyway. And I had to go out there naked, and I've died up at the spawn point of them, too. And when you, back then, you had to, like, loot your corpse or drag your corpse along and, and then loot it. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway... Uh, that was my first experience with EQ and the whole character screen thing and it was just you know, That's my my throwback Thursday thing if I could find any of my old screenshots I would post them and put it like right here or whatever, but I I'm not even sure where I have those anymore Even if or even if I have them to this day anyway, I just figured I'd share a little bit of my uh, hilarious First, uh, I, oh, and I subsequently stopped playing the game for, I would say about nine months, no, six months after that I didn't play. I just stuck to playing the um, N64 for a while. And then he re, re, we revisited me playing it again, and, um, and after that then I did actually get my own account and we played together then. Um, but that's a different topic for another time. Bye.